If I can't so, then that mean I have some shit to do. If I can't so, I was in the project in the joke. Let's record this part. I just want the start. I'm going way down south. All right, that's enough. That's enough. So right now what I'm doing is I'm I'm chopping. All right, next one. I think the one thing that I would say to people who want to do it and do it right is if you take a look at anybody who's ever succeeded in the world, anybody of their own accord, they're masters of being failures because that's what taught them everything that they know is being, is being, being terrible. And then they said, I don't want to be terrible. And then they learned, but I have respect for anybody who wants to put themselves out there and suck absolute shit so that way they can get better. That's another thing is if you're going to try to do this as a job, you basically have to be a Jehovah's witness, but like for yourself, have you heard the good word about me? Yeah, exactly. None of us have any money for a street team. You got to be your own street term. Street term. Got to embrace that inner car salesman. You just slap yourself. This baby can hold 1,500 beats. <laughs> anyway, I want this reverb by itself. Man, there's a lot of singing here. I just want a little bit of this piano, not too much. Just like to break it up. I know I'm going to want it. I'm not going to need it. Once the roads come in, I think we're good. All right. Wow, they really distort the tape there, huh? All right, so we have the slices here. This is a hardware sampler and a sequencer. But instead of having 16 pads, you have 16 buttons. So this axis is kind of like your pads, but it actually does a lot more than that. So this can also be your step sequencer, uh, a keyboard. I love it. You only got one shot. You got one chance. All right. Oh, this could be fun. So right now I'm I'm just plugging stuff into the sequencer. I'm just adjusting the parameter to, to select which chop I want. So you're hearing like some of these traps aren't long enough. If you turn on the loop, with some of these, it'll just like loop forever. But then there's also one that goes back and forth, which Koala actually just introduced into their app, which is $5. If I was like, just started making beats in like the 2020s, you wouldn't see me on any of this shit because I wouldn't even know what a hardware sampler was like to work on. I would just be on my goddamn phone just making beats on that. Whoa, that's cool. I like the way this one. You see how it's kind of like, no, there's like a little frill. Damn, that shit's hard. That's a dope ass fucking little sound right there. Ah. Oh, that's tight. And we got some stuff here we can do. All right, so let's try to find some drums I work with this. I don't know what I want to do yet. <sighs> something like that, like something closer to that. <laughs> ah! Let's see if this works. Like that. He's knocking. Damn, that shit's hard. What I'm doing right now is I'm just creating more uh, patterns. So now I have two and they're going back and forth. So that. Nice. Alright, 
notes. I need some, uh, I need like a shaker or something, like a tambourine. Something like that that's going to keep things a little bit bouncy. Because uh, right now it's a little tame. <laughs> uh, what we got here? That score right there. I think I want to figure this out for something. So, well, I hope. Let's listen to the bass real quick, just like making sure that it comes in when I want it to. I like that. It's stupid, but it works. All right, cool. We got that. This video was brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. There they have access to extended versions of these videos, as well as the original multiple hour sessions. You can find out more by clicking on the link in the description below.